Greetings everybody, Pavlos Lagretos here for Wager Talk TV with a free play in the Leagues Cup that is starting on Friday. And we got a match between Atlanta United and DC United. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to let you guys know that I'm number one in soccer in the last 30 days. I'm on an 8 and 1 run in Asian spread bets, uh, 27 and 13 run in 4% Asian spreads, and 7 and 2 run in 4% Asian total. So we made 79 units in the League's Cup last season uh, with a 70% win rate with 23 and 10. So you can use uh, coupon code SOC30 to get 30 days of soccer for just $199. That's $50 off. As we have uh, three 4% League's Cup uh, best bets for the weekend. So head over to my page at wt.buzz.pl and you'll find my free plays and all the other promos. Now onwards to our free play. Again, this is Atlanta United versus DC United uh, on Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we like goals here. Now Atlanta, they're minus 130 favorites uh, as hosts. Uh, the draw is at plus 300 and DC United are plus 300 underdogs. Uh, with the Asian spread set at 0 0.75 goals and the Asian total set at 3 goals. Now... Atlanta United, um, they're in kind of a transitional period right now. They sold both their designated players. Uh, Yakumakis went to Cruz Azul in the uh, Liga MX, and Thiago Almada went to Botafogo uh, in the Brazilian Serie A. So they have a lot of money to spend. They did bring a, a couple of players, but uh, they still have a lot of holes in their roster. So they're going to make some more moves. But for now, they only got a couple of players. So Atlanta, they're on a 6-0 run to the both teams to score and over 2.5 goals combo at home and 10-2 and in the last three months or so. So, uh, you know, their defense is leaky as hell, uh, but their offense is producing despite the fact that they sold two of their most productive players. And now they face a DC United uh, who have a pretty similar characteristics. Now, DC United, they're on a 5-1 and run to the both teams to score and over 2.5 goals combo with five of six matches going to the over three and a half goals and four of those going to the over four and a half goals. So they can score, but they have one of the worst defenses in the MLS with 50 considered goals in 25 matches. That's an average of two considered goals per match. And on the road, they also concede an average of exactly two goals per match while scoring an average of 1.25 goals per match. So uh, this brings me to my final point, and that's the head-to-head. -head. Uh, these two last met... Uh, in June 20th in uh, DC, where Atlanta won by 1 to nil, but take that under with a grain of salt because Atlanta were on the road, and on the road they tend to play much more tightly than they do at home. Uh, the, the, you know, these two also met uh, in late um, May, where DC United won in this venue by 3 to 2, which means that the both teams to score and over 2.5 goals combo is a whopping 8 and 1 uh, in head to head matches in this venue. So we're looking at another high scoring match here. Take a same game parallel with both teams to score and over two and a half goals at minus 125. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, guys. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know how you're going to bet in this match. If you like or dislike my pick, I'd be glad to hear your guys' thoughts. So good luck with your bets and God bless.